Cohort. Age, period and cohort effects are three ways society can change over time. Taking health as an example, an age effect might involve individuals becoming, say, less healthy as they get older. A period effect might suggest that, as time passes, everyone gets healthier, perhaps as a result of medical advancements. Finally, a cohort effect would suggest that people are born more healthy than people in previous generations, meaning the overall health of a population improves without any individual's health actually changing. Often all three of age period and cohort effects can exist in the world at once, and we are often interested in separating them to find out which are the most important in driving societal change. But this is very difficult to do because the three are exactly collinear. If we know the age of an individual and what year they are being measured, we also know their cohort, the year they were born. This makes it impossible to separate linear age period and cohort effects from one another. It also means if we get one of these trends wrong, we will get the others wrong as well. Data produced by just a linear period effect would look identical to data produced by a combination of age and cohort effects of the same size, so telling them apart is impossible. There have been many attempts to solve this so-called identification problem, often using scary-looking statistics. But these only work in very specific situations. The problem is not in the statistical models, it's in the way the data were produced. So we as researchers should be sceptical of any method that claims to solve the identification problem. There can be no general automatic solution, no magic wand that will make the problem go away. If we want to know about linear effects, we have to make a strong assumption about one of age, period or cohort trends. For example, we might assume that the true period trend is zero. That is a big assumption and would need to be justified on theoretical grounds. Alternatively, we could forget about the linear trends entirely and only consider the deviations from them. But in this case, we cannot say anything about those linear trends, so this doesn't solve the problem either. In sum, the age period cohort identification problem is something we really should be concerned with if we are interested in the effects of age or in things that change over time. We can't just pretend it doesn't exist or use attractive but ultimately flawed so-called solutions. We need to be open about what our methods are and are not doing and state the assumptions and limitations of those methods explicitly.